There's a whole lot to learn about exponents. You probably already know quite a bit. When you start getting further and further into your study of exponents, you'll see lots of properties and little shortcuts that a lot of students use to help them. However, you don't have to memorize anything, and in fact, I suggest that you don't memorize anything. You just want to be sure you're comfortable with a few basic properties of exponents. An exponent tells how many times a number, or base, is multiplied by itself. You know what I'm talking about. Like if I have 4 to the first power, 4 is the base, 1 is the exponent. That means 4 times itself, 1 time. You could also write 4 squared, which means 4 times itself twice, or 4 times 4. 4 to the third power would be 4 times 4 times 4 again. You could think of that as 16 times 4, or jump right to how that's equal to 64, etc., etc. This goes on and on. You could write 4 to the fourth as 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, blah, 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 blah. That's one thing to keep in mind. One thing you really have to be careful, though, with you guys is exponents. When it comes to exponents and negative signs especially, it gets tricky. Here's what I mean. If I have negative 4 as the base, and I want it to be squared, I would have to write negative 4 in parentheses squared. That's different than this. This means, with no parentheses, this means 4 squared, then negativized. Please, please, please write this down somewhere where you'll see it over and over again and so you can get this into your brain. It's a tiny little mistake that can really throw off all of your work with exponents. One other thing I want to show you that's similar to this is the difference between 3x in parentheses squared, in which case 3x is the base. So when I square it, I'll have 3 squared times x squared, or 9x squared. That's totally different from if I write 3x squared. 3x squared is just 3 times x times itself. Be careful, there's all kinds of little tricks like this that you're going to run into with exponents that you want to make sure you keep straight in your head. If you don't remember anything else and you don't have to memorize anything going into exponents, as long as you can remember the difference between this kind of notation and that kind of notation. Same thing here, difference between 3x squared versus 3x squared. Exponents can be tricky, guys, but if you can just remember to try to write things out and be careful with your parentheses, you'll have a lot of success.